what's next for Bitcoin? What do we expect? What most people are looking at? This is what we'll cover today in the video. There's a lot of impatience in the crypto world. Everybody's waiting for the exponential phase of Bitcoin. It just doesn't seem to start. But when you least expect it, something could happen. We are in a volatile period in August of 2024. The last part of 2024 will be volatile and that will start the exponential phase of Bitcoin based on previous history. There's a new parameter that I wasn't looking at that is giving us hints on what to expect with Bitcoin in the future. And in order to track what Bitcoin does, it's kind of important to look at it. And that parameter is the United States money supply M2. In simple terms is the available liquidity in the US market, the available amount of money circulating in the US market. This is the chart of the last year up to the month of July 2024. And one really tricky thing that we could see right now is that the money supply was shrinking in September, October of 2023. And after that, in November, it started slowly increasing up to the level that we have right now. And if you go back to Bitcoin chart in July of 2023, we were here and slowly the price increased with liquidity up to the level that we have right now. The last part here, Bitcoin has not continued to grow, but that trigger, that M2 supply increase was associated with the move of Bitcoin from 28,000 to above 60,000 that we are right now, or near 60,000 that we are right now. So liquidity in the market is going to increase in the end of 2024 and the beginning of 2025 because interest rates will go down. And when interest rates will go down, the US will have to print more money. In printing more money, the M2 supply will increase and that will trigger a push for Bitcoin. Many people are talking about a target of 120,000 to up to $210,000 of Bitcoin. This is what I charted here in this weekly chart, the vertical lines are the last two halving events that we have had for Bitcoin. This was the previous bull run that you see here. Now that I included this price of Bitcoin up to 210,000, we see that the halving volatility here in 2020 seems very small, a little bigger now in 2024. But every time the prices increases, these windows will narrow, narrow, and narrow to be insignificant to cycles before. So we just have to tolerate this volatility that we have right now. But the exponential phase of Bitcoin is coming. I will track the M2 supply because it seems that also that the M2 supply will give us an idea of where a potential top of Bitcoin will occur. When the M2 supply shrinks, usually slightly before that, Bitcoin tops. So we'll have to track that down. And this will allow us to take profits and try to determine in the best way possible the potential top of Bitcoin. And if we see a tendency of M2 supply decreasing, that will give us a hint of the future bear market for Bitcoin if we ever get one. That also is critical to decide when to exit the market, when you when to keep your money outside of Bitcoin for a short window of time, and then when we will start to get these accumulation phases here near the bottoms of the bear market where you can get the best price of Bitcoin to be able to take the profit that we, you got at the top and obtain more coins, more Satoshis 
at the bottom of the bear market to prepare for the future push post having of the mid cycle. It's a rinse and repeat type of situation. We are trying to combine all the factors here and to supply, having bear market, bull market, to be able to detect the big zones of buying, but also the best zones of selling to grow your portfolio using Bitcoin, the scarcest asset out there in the market. I'm 100% sure that we will get this bull run very soon. How high we will go, nobody knows, but my expectations are that we are going to get to above $100,000 for Bitcoin. That's my limit, like my lower limit on this bull run. And the waiting game is near it, its end. So we just have to be a few months more patient and we will see that famous exponential phase for Bitcoin. We just have to tolerate the volatility that we have seen right now post having its noise money printing is coming interest rates were going to be cut starting in september and that will push assets risky assets including bitcoin higher so get ready it's coming see you all on the next one